everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about Lil Durk. And actually, some news that kind of went viral around the world about some lady claiming Lil Durk fathered her son, seven-year-old son, and he don't want to be a part of the baby life and shit like that anymore. Uh, this is a touchy situation, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm a dad too. So, you know, my view on this case might rub people a little wrong. You know, I might lose a lot of fans on this one, but I'm going to be honest. Um, I had an opportunity to speak with that young lady about three, four years ago when I heard this story and shit like that. I actually posted this story on Instagram and did a video about this on my old YouTube channel about maybe three, four years ago when she kind of spoke out a long time ago, but kind of stopped. Uh, when I uploaded it on Instagram, her and people who was like linked to her ran to my Instagram telling me to take the videos down and all kind of things. So we obliged and we took them down. Years later, I see a trending again all over the news, kind of blasting Lil Dirk. I want to be honest with you. If Dirk is the father, you got to take care of those babies, man. You know, don't get me wrong. I understand things happen. But at the end of the day, the baby needs you. That young man needs you. You're going to have to be there for that young man, regardless of the situation with the woman. You know, um, I see this a lot. But I have to be honest. That deadbeat lingo shit, that shit is played out. That whole deadbeat uh, narrative, that shit is played out, man. Because to be honest, what is wrong with you? And what the fuck are you doing to make this man don't want to come back to fuck around? Or even at least send some money for his kid and he ain't got to be the fuck around. You know, so I always wonder, you know, especially when it comes to these rappers or people who get in position, you know, they tend to not want to be around people who can set them up, backdoor them or put them in a bad position. So you find yourself with a friend you didn't have for 20 years and you didn't did some shady shit and that motherfucker never come around you again because their life is on the line when it comes to this drill culture shit too. But at the end of the day, I can say I seen pictures. I'm not gonna lie. I think the baby kind of looked like Dirk. The fact that Dirk mother took a grandparent DNA test leads me to believe that even she felt like the baby belonged to Dirk. And she must know this lady to want to have a drug, I mean, to do this this test for the baby, you know, to get in Dirk business and say, Dirk won't do it, I do it. She must have had some kind of relationship with this lady, which means I kind of believe this lady is credible. I don't think this lady is lying. Me personally, I honestly do believe that is Dirk's son. I'm not going off what it looks like because all people look like everybody. All kids look like everybody, you know. So I ain't going to just say that, but I can say she's been saying this for a long time. And I recall her trying to get my videos down because I guess she didn't want to ruffle no feathers. So I could really believe this. But I got to be honest, Dirk got a lot of shit going on right now. It does look a little weird for you to be popping up right now at the moment, you know? We didn't see you popping up last year, two years ago. Now we see you popping up when Dirk is at the biggest of his career. And I'm not going to lie. I do understand you saying he's doing good shit for the other kids and your son feeling left out. I understand that. But I can't make Dirk be a father. Instagram can't make Dirk be a father. Shea Room can't make Dirk do a, be a father. Baller Alert World Star can't make Dirk be a father. The fans can't make that shit happen. So going to the internet is a little weird, to be honest with you. Doing interviews with everybody but a judge. You know, it's simple. You ain't got to go to the internet. Some of this chit chat ain't even for us to be hearing. You know, this personal business. To be honest with you, you ain't got to go to Shea Room. You ain't got to go to these sites. You can go to family court and get this figured out, you know, but I don't understand it. You know, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to keep you updated on this. I don't want to take any sides on this shit because at the end of the day, I do feel for some of the single mothers who single mothers by mistake, not the ones who cause the drama, cause the bullshit and that shit happened. And that's what the fuck it is. You know, I don't, I, I don't draw off that one, but you know, if Dirk is the father, man, you got to man up and take care of those kids. And you can't take out your anger on that woman on them kids, bro. But at the same token, I'm not going to lie, you know. He doing a lot of good right now, and all of a sudden, you popped out the woodworks. It kind of might feel a little suspicious, you know. But we did see him on FaceTime with the little boy and all kind of things. I believe he know that he might have fathered this baby or, you know, whatever the fuck. But I am going to say, one thing I did notice, and I hope people don't take this the wrong way, but I see her doing interviews and talking to everybody, 
but a judge. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Blah, blah, blah.